Hello everyone. Welcome to our AWS question answer series. In this video, we will discuss some common AWS S3 interview questions you may encounter when applying for AWS related roles. Let's get started. The first question is, what is Amazon S3? The answer is, Amazon Simple Storage Service S3 is an object-based storage. It provides a secure, fast, highly scalable, and durable platform to store any type of data. Amazon S3 allows users to create a bucket, storage resource to store different types of data like videos, images, files, documents, etc. The next question is, what is versioning in S3? The answer is, users can enable versioning for S3 buckets to preserve every version of an object, user data, when an operation such as copy or delete is performed on it. Versioning means keeping the multiple forms of an object in the same S3 bucket. You can use the S3 versioning feature to preserve, retrieve and restore. Versioning is used to restore, retrieve and preserve every version of every object and through it, we can also recover from both unintended user actions and application failures. The next question is, is there any possible way to restore the deleted S3 objects? The answer is, yes, if you have a versioning enabled bucket and someone has deleted any object accidentally, then you can restore deleted object easily. The next question is, explain the lifecycle policy in S3. The answer is, lifecycle policy in S3 is an offering from AWS for storage cost optimization. It allows users to define data retention rules for S3 objects in a bucket. User can safely handle their data and define rules such that data dynamically transitions through various object classes and gets deleted once it is no longer needed. Lifecycle policies are defined at the level of bucket with a maximum limit of 1000 policies per bucket. Different policies can be used to apply on a collection of objects filtered with an option of prefix. The next question is, what is the replication rule feature supported by AWS S3? The answer is, with S3 Amazon provides a lot of useful features. One such feature is replication rules. Replication rules allow us to replicate the data to a secondary region. Replication rules allow us to reduce the cost by replicating the specific type of data and not all the data in the bucket. Also, when the data is replicated to the secondary region, one can transform the data storage class to optimize the cost. The next question is, define Amazon S3 Glacier. The answer is, Amazon S3 Glacier is a cloud-based storage service by AWS for long-term data archival and backup at a low cost. It provides secure and durable storage for infrequently accessed data that needs to be retained for compliance or archival purposes. The next question is, explain the object lock feature in AWS S3? The answer is, the object lock feature in AWS S3 is a functionality that allows you to enforce retention periods on objects stored in S3 buckets. It helps ensure that objects cannot be deleted or modified for a specified duration, providing data immutability and compliance with regulatory requirements. Object lock offers two modes. Governance mode, which enables users with specific permissions to override the retention settings. Compliance mode, which enforces strict immutability and prevents any modifications to objects until the retention period expires. The next question is, what are the different ways to encrypt a file in S3? The answer is, to encrypt a file in Amazon S3, you can choose the encryption option, decide on the encryption method you want to use for your file. S3 offers multiple encryption options, such as, Server-side encryption with Amazon S3 Managed Keys, S3 automatically manages the encryption keys for you. Server-side encryption with AWS Key Management Service, use AWS Key Management Service, KMS, to manage the encryption keys. Server-side encryption with customer-provided keys, you provide your own encryption keys for S3 to encrypt and decrypt your files. Client-side encryption, 
encrypt the file on the client side before uploading it to S3. The next question is, what is static website hosting in S3? The answer is, static website hosting in Amazon S3 is a feature that allows you to host static web content directly from an S3 bucket. It provides a simple and cost-effective way to publish static HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and media files on the Internet. With S3 Static Website Hosting, you can configure your bucket to act as a web server and make your content accessible through a website endpoint URL. This eliminates the need for traditional web servers and infrastructure management. The last question is, how is data organized in Amazon S3? The answer is, data is organized into buckets, which are similar to directories or folders, and objects, which are the actual files you store in those buckets. Thanks for joining us in this exploration of AWS S3 interview questions and answers. If you found it helpful, consider giving a thumbs up, subscribing, and staying tuned for more.